So here's my Axial Fest update. I've been uh, working on some cars. Uh, this is one of my core cars. Uh, this car I bought to uh, take to Axial Fest, and um, yesterday I tried making it work, and it simply just didn't make the cut. So um, I put in a new speed control, I put in a new uh, motor, uh, upgraded it to a really good Savox servo, uh, changed out the tires to um, you know these uh, uh, these Braven tires, 2.2 uh, Mickey Thompsons. Uh, it just it just didn't uh, perform the way that I wanted it to. And I feel like if I keep concentrating on this, I'm just gonna be chasing the rabbit and I'm not gonna get anything done in time. So concentrating on core cars like this one, it's already running, it's already tuned, it's you know pretty well you know ready to go. Uh, I still wanna address the tension on the shocks. I feel like I can do a better job on the shocks. Um, now, it finally has a front bumper on it because I've decided on a body. Um, originally, this was going to be a Jeep Mighty, however, it didn't match up the way that I wanted. So, this is where I'm at on the body for this. Um, I know I typically don't like having uh, too much on the bumpers here, but this is uh, what I've got going on with this. Now, the back side of it, much to the chagrin of Jen, is I hacked up the back side. I got to have this thing to where it can perform. It can look good for days, but if it can't uh, go out and actually crawl, it's pointless to me. So I made the uh, executive decision to hack and slash the body. I'm going to try something I'm not good at. I'm going to try to make an end piece for it and have it match up. I usually fail whenever I try doing this, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. I'm actually uh, also thinking about taking the stock chrome bumper trying to figure out how to melt the plastic and then have it come up so it actually looks like a bumper but way up high instead of down low. Um, don't know how that's gonna work, never tried it before, probably gonna fail, but I'm gonna give it a shot anyway. Um, so on this one, I'm gonna go with an American theme. So uh, I know I was looking at doing that to a Jeep, but Jen did the American flag truck and it was absolutely phenomenal. And uh, I really like what she did there. So I'm gonna give it my go on this one. Uh, I'm actually gonna be doing this all by hand. So, um, you know, there is gonna be some stenciling. So I'm gonna stencil in the shop logo over here. And, um, you know, I'll have the shop color. So it's gonna be black through here, and then the red line, and then uh, the white PDRC with the logo. So just like when you look in the shop and you see where I have the, the lines on the walls, I wanna do the exact same thing here. It's going to have the blue flag overlaying right here with the red, white, and blue that's going to go on the back side and uh, kind of go from there. Um, these are all the ideas that I have for it. I'm actually also going to give my hand at airbrushing. So uh, I'm not very good at airbrushing. Uh, Jen's awesome at it. I suck at it. But um, yeah, I'm going to give that a shot. That also means that I need to rethink these wheels. These were the wheels that were going to go on to the, um, they were going to go on the Jeep Mighty. Um, I don't want to get too heavy, so I don't want to go with a high mass speed lock. I'm looking for some 1.9s to put on here, and I really like these Traxxas tires. Um, I know that that doesn't uh, necessarily go over really well with a lot of folks, but uh, I think the Traxxas tires uh, do a really good mix for, you know, like uh, construction wood and rocks. So I'm actually going to get some more trail canyons and throw them on some some sort of beadlock. So I've got some homework to do there. Now that I have a theme for the body, I have to see what's available. What can I put on here? Um, I know that there's a few designs that I saw on RC four wheel drive that I like. Um, and uh, I'm just gonna go through the various resources. Anyway, so uh, that's where I'm at this morning. Uh, <laughs> lots of changes. Every time I think I know what I'm doing, it turns out that I'm gonna have to make some more changes just to adapt and overcome. But uh, that's the nature of the beast whenever you're going somewhere. So uh, lots more to do, more updates to follow. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.